perfect muscle about about Sadiq um, Viralai, even though there's no Ralai. So there was this king, and um, he used to love to go hunting. And he always took his doctor, just in case he would get injured, he always took his doctor with him. Well, they went hunting, and the king was running on this horse, like going after the deer or whatever, and he banged his finger into the tree, and he cut it, he lacerated his finger very badly. So he ran over to the doctor, and the doctor looked at it, and he said, am I going to be okay? And the doctor said, I don't know. Hope so. So they bandaged him up, and like a week later, he came back to the doctor, and he says, my finger's swollen. I have a very bad infection. What are you going to do? He said, okay, we'll, uh, we'll soak it. We'll get the pus out. We'll soak it. We'll put in some Epsom salt. And he, Am I going to be okay? He said, I don't know. We'll see. A week later, he comes back. His finger is green, full of gangrene. He says, I got to cut your finger off. He says, what? He says, I got to cut your finger off. So I'm going to be okay? He says, I hope so. And he cuts his finger off. So when he wakes up from the operation, he says, you are the worst doctor in the whole world. You cut my finger off. I am putting you in the deepest, darkest dungeon to rot. So he takes the doctor and he puts him in this deep, dark dungeon and now he goes hunting without a finger. And... They're going through the woods and they get attacked by these savages and the savages kill all the guards. And they take the king and they bring him to their village and they're now going to sacrifice him to their god. Cannibals. They're going to sacrifice him to their god. They tie him up. They put him on the mezbeach. Put him on the altar. The medicine man starts dancing around with his thing. And they take the knife, the sword, and they're going to chop his head off. And all of a sudden the medicine man says, No! No! We cannot bring him... As a sacrifice. Why not? Because he's missing a finger. Every, it has no mum. It can't be any blemish. It has to be perfect. He is not a good sacrifice. He's missing a finger. Untie him. Let him go. All right. He runs back home. And he's saved. And he comes to the dungeon. And he calls the doctor out. He goes, you know, you're free. He says, why am I free? He says, you saved my life. I saved your life? He said, yeah, because you cut my finger off, the savages didn't kill me and use me as a sacrifice. So the guy in the prison, the doctor says, no, you got it all wrong, king. You saved my life. He says, why? He says, because if I would have been with you, they would have sacrificed me. <laughs> it takes a moment to get it. So, so one guy lost his finger, the other guy's in a dungeon, and, that's, and two opposite things, and what happened to both of them, which seems Rallo, saved them both. So... You don't get to see the whole picture. Hashem is the only one that sees the whole picture. So there's really no such thing as Rallo. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.